And the final game on the Tuesday dock, we have Southern Miss at South Alabama. The home team Jaguars are 17.5 point favorites, and it carries an over-under 53.5 points. Kicks off Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. South Alabama, they've had a, a confusing season. They beat the brakes off Oklahoma State and then turn around and lose to Central Michigan the next week. Uh, and they sit at 3-3 three and three on the season. The other two losses coming to Tulane and uh, James Madison. So can't really fault them in that. And, and maybe Central Michigan was more of a uh, letdown spot after going into Stillwater and, and just handing it to uh, Oklahoma State potentially. But I don't know. Uh, <laughs> they gave up 30, 34 points to the, to the chips there. This is a game that the Jags, I think they match up really well against Southern Miss. The Golden Eagles have been a run exclusive team the past few years, but that's actually really come down to about a 50-50 split. They're about FBS average in terms of rush rate this season. Uh, it doesn't help, though, that they've been playing from behind in almost every single game. So they're kind of forced to throw the ball when they're allowing 50-plus points to Arkansas State, 56 points to Texas State. Of course, they're going to have to throw it a lot more than they would like. But the game plan is still there. I mean, they want to run the football. When they come out in games early, they hand the ball to Frank Gore Jr. That's just what they do. Uh, and Southern Miss, zero FBS wins on the season, including losses to Arkansas State, which... At the time, I thought the Red Wolves were trending up uh, in a good direction with the new quarterback, but uh, you know they just got shut out not long ago. And then they also lost to uh, Old Dominion, which they, I, I don't know about that one. But South Alabama's defense, 15th in EPA per rush allowed. Frank Gore Jr., he's a workhorse, but I, he, did, he doesn't have the team in front of him to, to be that efficient. He, he was held to just 66 rushing yards on 29 carries against Old Dominion in their last game there. Just brute. I mean, you're just handing the ball off and running to a brick wall at that point, hoping for the best. Their quarterback, Southern Miss's quarterback, Billy Wiles, has a third worst completion rate, only 53%, and seventh worst yards per attempt at 6.2 nationally. This isn't a conference thing. That's national. Uh, Southern Miss, they get in trouble when they force the ball through the air, and they, you know they have to based on their game script, falling behind in games, and you know you can't just keep handing the ball off for three yards of carry when you're losing by 15 points. Uh, they're 108th in passing success rate so far this year. Uh, their offense against teams that are ranked in the top half nationally in points per drive allowed, 9.7 points per game. Versus bottom half and their FCS opponent, 37.7 points per game. They're, again, a clear divide between are they playing a defense with a pulse or are they playing a bad defense? That, that just dictates how, how they're uh, going to score in this game. And again, inefficient run game against a good run defense. They don't have a good passing game if they fall behind. I'm looking to under 17 and a half team total points for Southern Miss in this game because I believe South Alabama at home has a good enough defense to be able to force them to throw the ball. And bad things happen when Southern Miss is throwing the ball. <laughs> 